My name is David Carpenter. I'm a public health physician who was educated at Harvard Medical School. The question today is whether it's wise to have Wi-Fi in schools. My answer is a clear no, it is not wise. Let me tell you why. There is clear evidence that children that live near powerful AM radio transmission towers, radio transmission towers use the same kind of microwave irradiation that is characteristic of Wi-Fi in schools. Those children have an elevated risk of developing leukemia. Children that use cell phones extensively have elevated risks of developing brain cancer. And the cell phones use the same kind of radiation. Now, a wired computer lab in a school will generate no radio frequency radiation. Now, a wired lab may be a little more expensive to install initially, may be a little less flexible in the school, but it will not subject your child to elevated radio frequency radiation. Do we have all of the answers about how dangerous Wi-Fi is? No. But do we have enough evidence to believe that it's going to increase the risk of leukemia? Yes, we do. And parents need to know the information that we have at hand. They need to take steps to protect their children, to educate their colleagues, the people in the PTA, to educate their school officials, the superintendents, the teachers, to educate their elected representatives and political authorities. But there are, there are simple steps that be, can be taken to protect children from Wi-Fi and from radio frequency radiation without interfering with their learning ability in the school.